fishers. Australia Day long weekend. How good is this? A lot of people have got an extra day or so off. Uh, one of the things I'm going to uh, emphasise just before uh, we get into the fishing report, when you're on the water in a boat, no drinking, make sure you've got your life jackets on. I know you hear it from everybody, but you're hearing it here again. We don't want to lose any of you fishers over the, the, the weekend. Uh, so just take it easy and if you're out in the water at night time trolling, make sure you've got nav lights on your boat and turn the things on so that you don't run into, somebody doesn't run into you more importantly. Just keep that one in mind. But down at the serious side of things, Murrumbidgee River, absolutely perfect. Looks fantastic, is fantastic. The same goes with Old Man Creek. Doesn't get too much better than what it is. It is fishing incredibly well. Now, bait fishing, lure fishing, it doesn't seem to matter. Surface lures are doing quite well. Uh, if you're gonna use bait, use bigger type yabbies. You should get some good fish on big yabbies without any trouble at all. If you wanna flick a spinner bait round, or even a uh, Biblis crankbait, they seem to be doing exceptionally well of late, especially if you know how to use them. A lot of activity. Spinner bait in under some really big logs. Uh, dark colours at the moment uh, seem to be doing quite nicely late in the afternoon, early in the morning. But through the middle of the day, because the water's so clear, get back into some of those brighter colours and those naturals. I think you'll do quite nicely. Getting good reports out of blowering. Uh, a lot of redfin. Anybody wanting to feed a reddies, that's the place to be. Getting plenty of redfin, some nice cod, very big cod on the troll. Uh, jaws. Uh, custom craft jaws lures seem to be doing the job extremely well. Um, I think on our Facebook site we might have a couple of photos of some really big fish caught in them late, uh, especially out of blowering. And also uh, the red fin, if you're going to fish for red fin up there, just little blades, soft plastics, uh, the little one and a half inch um, atomic yabbies will do the job perfectly up there. Bar and Jack's not too bad, starting to pick up, starting to improve every day now. We're getting some better reports from it. Uh, most of the fish are getting caught around the timber now. They were on the troll, but that last half hour before dark, you'll pick them up trolling those rocky banks. You'll get some nice yellow belly. Through the day, you'll pick up a few cod without too much trouble at all. Wangler, still very happy with Wangler Dam. A lot of good fish coming out of there. Uh, the Abercrombie Arms fishing really well. Lachlan Arms not too bad. And they're getting a lot of good cod on surface was down near around the dam wall. Even walking the bank seems to be better than trolling at the moment up there, so that says something for it. It's really producing fish. Bit of activity up at Yookabeen, Tintangra, Jindabyne. Uh, everybody's catching fish up there. Trolling seems to be the go at uh, Yook. Uh, Tintangra, not too bad. Off the bank with bait or trolling. Doesn't seem to matter a great deal. The fly fishermen are, do fishermen are doing all right. And all the streams are fishing exceptionally well. If I was going somewhere this weekend, I'd go down to the Hume Weir and I'd catch plenty of redfin, plenty of yellows and there's some good numbers of cod coming out of it. So it looks like we've got a great weekend ahead of us. This is the complete Angler's Fishery Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.